welcome to episode 43 of Aunt Betty and Crazy Jim's Roadkill Review. Woo! What are we having tonight, Crazy Jim? Oh, we got a very special episode for all them listeners out there in TV land. Oh, really? What do we What do we find on the side of the oh, road? Oh, <laughs> boy. If only they could see what we be seeing here. We got ourselves a special humdinger. Mmm, is it a possum or an opossum? Oh, I never could tell. They all seem the same to me when they're dead. Ooh, well, they all just taste like chicken. <laughs> oh, except for the very special top shelf chicken. <laughs> Before we get into the meat and potatoes of our tasty roadkill, we gotta remind our listeners who this episode's brought to you by. It's brought to you by eggs for men. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's eggs for men. They have buffer yolks. <laughs> they're not yellow yolks. They're yellow. Ooh. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to Wheels for Vanna, a Wheel of Fortune podcast where we review every episode of Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I'm so happy to be doing this episode. This is one of my favorite episodes of this season. Absolutely. Episode 63, or if you're going chronologically, episode 722. Ooh, ooh. I feel like we're going chronologically, right? Usually Definitely. that's what we yeah, do. Yeah, that's what we do. Okay. So, Vanna, yeah. this episode? Stunning as per usual. Oh my goodness. Ugh, just flawless. Top to bottom. Her posture, poise, and, you know, her overall vanna Yeah, and she's a great speller. She really is. She's fantastic. Do you she think she win... went to school for that? She, yeah, absolutely. She spelling could win school? a spelling bee. Is that... <laughs> What's the rest of the word? It just starts with B? Oh, no! <laughs> All right, that's it for that. And we can't forget our lovely sponsor. Without them, this show wouldn't have gone on for 700 plus episodes. Yeah, Jason, spell it out for us. S P E L L M A N Spellmans. Spellmans? <laughs> what do they offer? I'd love to tell a you. Spellophone. <laughs> spellophone. <laughs> you just pick it up and it spells <laughs> random words. For yes! <laughs> things you you talk to the phone you're like hey spellophone how do i say how do i spell iridocyclitis and then there you go it tells you Has because it, that's a hard word does it work has it worked off it works 90 percent of the time but i mean we're not buying it we want our listeners to buy it it works all the time there we go much better <laughs> I was thinking you could, it's like an auto dialer, like, Ooh. but you have to spell the person's name that you want to call. Oh, so you have to be like J-A-S-O-N, because I always be calling And then you. it would be like, now calling Frank. And you'd be oh, like, no, God. Spellman's! It's as, eff- <laughs> it's as effective as the sink in my car. <laughs> What's it hooked up to? <laughs> Hi, and welcome to episode 69 of Jesus is a Biscuit. Let him sop you up. This episode we're reading Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing I ask from the Lord is that I only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and seek him into his temple. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, RuPaul's Drag Race. This episode brought to you by RuPaul's Gigantic Cowboy Hats. You can fit four in there. In where? That! <laughs> you can fit four RuPaul heads in one hat! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Time's a Construct. We're on time this time. Are we? But we're late at the same time. Oh, So this no. episode we're going to be discussing lateness and whether that's actually on time for us. But it's brought to you by clocks. You buy them so we don't have to. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Time, Time is, is meaningless. meaningless. 
Wow, we have great harmony. I... Just A plus. Top notch, top dog of harmonies. Speaking of top dogs, this episode of Top Dogs is brought to you by Top Dogs. They're top dog of the top drawer. What are top dogs, Jason? Tell me. Are they the best dogs? They're better than the bottom dogs. Oh, God. Those are real bottom of the barrel bunch. Like when you reach into a barrel, you know what I'm talking about, guys. When you reach into a barrel of puppies, you don't want the bottom puppies. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Smushed by other puppies. Oh, that's sad. (laughs) You want the top ones. Yeah, they're the the, the cutest. Also, they can breathe. And they'll last longer. Yeah. (laughs) hi everybody welcome back to the sound of books all right great thank you very much for listening um we'll see you next week for the sound of books part 17 what are we reading next week or what are we hearing next week i'll give you a little sneak preview (sighs) is that ever good Mm -mm -mm. Booktastic. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Netflix. Hey there, and welcome to What's That Smell? <laughs> Do you smell it? What is that smell? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me good this time. I can't wait till next time. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by clothespins. We sell them like a lot of them. What are they for? I don't know, like your nose. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what? Dirty clothes. This episode is brought to you by Nike Swoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> it went over your head. Like <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. River Squirrels, part 17, reviewing last week's episode, Something Something Happens in Riverdale. Oh my god. When Cheryl Squirrel was talking to Archie Squirrel, and they were making squirrely love in the forest, I couldn't believe it. It was Could not squirrely. believe it. And then Crown Squirrel comes, and... Betty Squirrel comes, and, like, they were having, like, their nuts all in a basket. And... Oh, my God. Too many nuts in a basket, some would say. You shouldn't put all your nuts in one basket, some would say. Also, when the rivers met, and they were like a leaf down the river, Ooh. an acorn on a leaf down the river. Ooh, you know what? That weighs it down. That makes it go fast. Real fast. Really speeding For those down the river, river squirrels. Yeah, it was... I'm I'm not surprised the this show has been renewed for like seven more seasons, I think. Mm. Just because last night's episode was so... I don't know. It just had so many themes and really spoke on the motivations of all these squirrely squirrels. Oh my god, so many squirrels. I think that's all we can do with squirrels. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Ping Pong, an episode where we talk about the first video game ever, Pong. Not to be confused with Pog, which came out in the 90s and was clearly a rip, okay? We've had this conversation before, Jerry, and we're not gonna have it again. Not on air. It was heated the first time, it got physical the third time, and I think we had to call the cops the tenth time, so we're not doing it any more times no stop sending us messages about pog okay pog sounds like a character out of star wars and i don't like it yeah we're definitely not talking about porgs yeah no don't don't confuse that You're, you're listening to the wrong cast no first video game ever oh my god guys figure it out okay and so i know this episode's going to be about how this actually wasn't the first video game ever but that's not the point I'm going to break your face with a chair. Not again! (laughs) This episode was brought to you by Doorbells. Ding dong! Hi. Welcome back to Simple Science. This episode we're talking about buttons. 
Ooh, what kind of buttons? Coat buttons. I'm so glad you asked. Oh my goodness, coat buttons. Who doesn't need those? Everybody needs them, everybody has them, and if you don't, you need to get them. Toss away your old zippers, toss away your clasps, get yourself some buttons. Oh my god, that sounds wonderful. But Jason, how do they work is my question. Again, I'm so glad you asked. There are so many different forms of buttons. There are four buttons. There are two buttons. (laughs) Little known fact about buttons. You can stick them in your mouth. Can you swallow them like pennies? Don't swallow buttons. In fact... But what if I want to? Can you tell me what to do? It's actually quite an interesting thing. Buttons were made with holes in them in case you swallowed them. So you could still breathe. In fact, I have seven buttons in my throat right now. And I can breathe just fine. That seems like a world record. Yeah, you can do it too. In fact, let's do a little group activity. Everybody listening, grab a button. Knock it down your throat. Yeah, just swallow it. You don't even need to use water just just, dry swallow Try swallow them buttons Buttons send us a send us a video of yourself swallowing buttons and uh maybe we'll have you on our next episode of buttons (laughs) simple science (laughs) this episode brought to you by cozy kitties pajamas for cats Hey there, welcome to What You Slappin'. <laughs> the podcast where we guess what I'm slapping. This episode, we have Wait a minute, you almost got me. We're not going to tell you what she's slapping. You got to guess yourself. Wait, I'm supposed to put on a blindfold? Crap. No, everybody at home guesses. Oh, this. right. It's like every other episode we do. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so we're waiting. What'd she slap? Oh wait, this isn't live. How did they how did they send it in? We didn't think this went through. No. Abort! Wait. You know, Jason, there's a new product out there that I just love. I need I it. What is it? I need I've it. I've been using it like every day. What's it for? I need it. I need it right now. Tell me what it is. Okay, it's called Long. Awkward pauses. Oh my god, how does it work? (laughs) A hundred percent success rate every time. I need it right now. Go out and buy yourself a long awkward pause. We'll wait. But for how long? Hey, welcome back to Grandma's Kitchen. We are going to be baking cookies inside a brownie today. Oh my god, Granny, that sounds amazing. Also, why do you sound weird? Granny's not feeling so well. Mm. That's why she's baking her patented cookie knees. (laughs) Cookie knees? Yeah, cookies (laughs) inside brownies. You laugh now, but wait till you have a taste of them scrumptious cookie knees. All right, to get started, we're going to grab some flour, some knees, (laughs) some eggs, some trees, and some bees. For the honey, of course. That's the secret ingredient. Wink, wink. Mashed up bees. (laughs) Never doubt Granny. She knows what's best. (laughs) This episode brought to you by EpiPens. Because you're going to need them. You'll probably need like a bunch. (laughs) From Kingston, Ontario and Multiverse Radio Production, this is Cereal. One breakfast food, week by week. My name is Vivian. And this week, we're talking about Kellogg's. The scandal. The lies. The flakes. Hey everybody, welcome back to Talking. Uh, I'm J-Dog, and this is my partner, Jerry Time, and 
we're just going to be talking about talking and like the things that you do with your mouth and moving words and making sounds and pretty much everything involved with spouting out things from your your, your lips and your tongue and your yeah cords. yeah this podcast is really great for babies who are learning how to talk because they're going to just hear us talk a lot and then they're just going to pick it up like, no problem, don't worry about it, keep talking. And also really good for new life forms, like if an alien drops into your lap, you know, from outer space and they don't know how to talk, then you can just put this podcast on and we can talk for you. I mean, you're going to be totally... Because you're going to be speechless! Yeah, totally, completely, and utterly. And, I mean, we're going to be discussing... We're going to be continuing on what we talked about last week and the week before that and the week before that. Yeah, we're and just going to week before that as well. And we're going to converse. We're just going to talk. And we're going to jibber-jabber. And we're going to flap our lips, you know? We're going to do a lot of that today. So, stay tuned. Strap yourself in, buckle up. Um, you know, it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be an adventure, a roller coaster of words, sounds, oral awesomeness. Thank you for tuning in to Talking. Yeah, we look forward to talking at you next week where you can't really get a say in what we're talking about. No, you just absolutely not. To... We don't even like let each other talk, really. I mean, we're just always cutting each other off. Yeah, you just kind of have to. And you just have to deal you to with listen. it, you know? It, it can be a little awkward. No, it's fine. It's good. Don't even worry about it, Jason. You're, you're like making people like, like feel bad because like they want to listen, one thing, and then the and other side you of your ear is saying another. Like, oh so God. you're trying to like follow both conversations. It's really fun. Totally. And don't forget, this episode of Talking is sponsored by podcasts because, fuck it, that's what they do. That's what they do. This episode is sponsored by Baby's Knuckles. They're small and they fit in your mouth. Don't eat them though. This episode of Coaster by Coaster is brought to you by drinks. So you'll actually have something to use. Oh man, that's a good one. Finally an excuse to use your coasters. Finally. This episode is brought to you by touching. I'm not doing it. I'm not touching you. I'm not. I'm not touching you. I'm not. Not touching you. This episode of Floral Arrangements is brought to you by couches. From the 70s? Hey, 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 and welcome to episode 15 of Cool Beans, an iced coffee review podcast. Join us every episode where we get hopped up on coffee and spurt our thoughts. woo That's it. This episode of Picnics is brought to you by Chairs, Bears, and Scares, the trilogy of horror. Wait, 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 I had one, I had one. Oh. This episode of Soups and Poops is brought to you by Fiber. <laughs> Just generic Fiber? All brand buds. Oh. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Okay. Well, that was an interesting experiment. We had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, April Fool's, guys. I mean, we're not going to actually do any of these podcast ideas. But if we were... Which one's your favorite? <laughs> you know, let us know. Write you, to us. If you if you got an artsy background, maybe you could design a uh, podcast uh, cover for one of these shows. Yeah. Oh, I really want one for Eggs for Men. <laughs> Please do that. I know it's not a show, but it is an advertisement that could be created and could be beautiful. And totally ripped. Ooh. Ooh. You, Protein. You think you need to get jacked? Just get cracked. <laughs> Eggs for men. Okay, I love it. All right. Um. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this complete ridiculousness. Yeah. <laughs> Just so dumb. So dumb. Okay. Um. Bye. No. No. Hi, we're back. Thanks for waiting. <laughs>
This <laughs> episode so of Keyboards is brought to you by <laughs> Kneeboards. They sound the same, but trust me, they're not. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, no, I actually want to make like a little little announcement. Um, so I know that we haven't come out with our season two review for The Good Place yet, but that is coming soon, um, probably in a couple weeks. Things have been busy here. At Casa de Multiverse. Ooh, I like that. I know, it makes our apartment sound fancy. But we are cooking up some things to do in the off-season of Forking Bullshirt. And as I'm sure you've noticed, if you listen to Burger of the Week, we are currently on an indefinite hiatus on that show. Um, Just focusing our energies, I think, somewhere else at the moment. So... There's plenty of episodes. Go ahead. Go listen to a random one. Um, but we don't have any sort of timing on that one. Yeah. 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 This Hi, episode everybody. of this... Vocal Fry is brought to you by Valley Girls. Oh my god. Get yours today. They're probably at like Starbs or something. Oh my god. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.